Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video on Marvel Future Fight. Now, today, what we're going to be looking at is, you know, the all new characters in the game. All the new characters in the game, in fact, as well as some of the stuff that is now available for you to get. Now, they have these new things. Let me go on in here and show you guys. I was working on it. If you haven't seen my other... Uh, the other video on my other channel, be sure to check it out. I was working on Black Bolt, and I'm surprised they actually released a new Black Bolt uniform, which is relatively cool. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> that is some, I don't know, something I did not expect. He kind of reminds me of Joe Fixit in a way. In a way, not exactly, but this is what he looks like. Here's Black Bolt. This is a new uniform. You can get that one as well as Elsa. I got this one as well, so I just need to get the uniform. I got her to tier 2. Really cool looking character. And, you know, this one, they change everything. Like, look at this. The Force of Bloodstone, No Mercy. There's a bunch of stuff here that is different compared to this one this is the one i use the most except the uniform bonus appears to be the same i'm going back and forth and i don't see anything that is too different all right so let's get back out of here and of course i thought this one was the ms marvel the other ms marvel not this one i thought it was the other one but you know when i went on in here is actually this ms marvel uh i don't have this ms marvel up she's like two star or something i haven't worked on her at all Let's go on over here and go over some of the new characters. We have Moon Girl available for you to get. Really cool character. Alright, let me zoom out a bit. Alright, really fun character to play with as it seems. Let me go on in here and go over some of the skills. It doesn't... I'm, I already went over this one. These have summon illusions. The other ones, there's only one character with damage immunity. So, you know, if you want to get... This character, you can always get this character through the special mission. And they add, they did add new special missions. I'll show you guys that a bit later. This is Karnak. And another Inhuman. Let me just bring this up to tier 2. Of course, 70% chance of pure super armor barrier effect 10 seconds. So this one adds guaranteed critical hits as well as critical damage if you take him to tier 2. Looks like he can stun the enemy. Yeah, so he's based on stun, which is actually pretty good. Let's go back out of here. Actually, let's look at Karnak a bit. Oh, isn't he the guy that's able to, like, see the weakness of the enemy and hit them, like, exactly where it hurts? Yeah, I think this is the guy that does that. We have Gargon and another cool character. Reminds me of Thor slightly, you know with I guess it's because he's using a hammer. Let's go back over here Let's look at some of the skill. This one has blind decreased speed as well as increased damage dealt to supervillain types Stun so he has a stun attack, which is nice super armor speed Increased skill damage by 20% as well as bonus damage by 15% so I'm guessing he would be a relatively powerful character if you get, get him to tier 2. We have Inferno here. This is the guy that reminds me of the Human Torch. He turns into fire and stuff like that. Or he's filled with fire, rather. And... You know, this is a character you can only get through the Inhuman Special Mission as an ally shifter or as the monthly bonus. And this is the character you can get damage immunity. Damage immunity, two seconds only, which is kind of boring. I don't know, two seconds, I don't like, it's too slow. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'll take a look at it a bit later. Uh, he's immune to fire, though. His tier two is... You know, it's here and there. I mean, increased buffs the effect by 20% and duration by 30%. So it doesn't increase damage or anything. But this one does have increased damage, fire damage by 10%. Alright, so there's Inferno. And we'll take a look at that him a bit later. Alright, we have Crystal here. Let's bring this one up to tier 2. I haven't used this character yet, but it seems like it would be a cool character. 10% chance of attack miss. 
So some of these things I've never seen before, like the attacks. Or the effects, rather. Increased all elemental damage by 15%. This one decreases all resistance by 15%. But this is what is based on 25% when attacking. Applies to self. And we have Maximus here. So summon an illusion with 45% of summoner's stats. Ultimate weapon. Summon an illusion with 35. Wow, there's a lot of summons here. This one can guard one hit. Paralyzes the enemy. Okay, this is something I like a bit. 20% increase to all attacks and defense of summon characters. 15% increase to HP and 10% duration of increased summon character. So that's based on your summon's character. So this one increases damage dealt by 50% from skills to machine type characters. Go over here. And you can get this one through the special mission. We'll go over the special mission a bit later. Darmamu! Alright, this guy, I haven't... Like, I haven't looked at him much, but I think he's going to be really strong. Alright, not much happening there. I mean, there's Dormammu. Let's go out of here. So he starts as a tier 2 character, it seems. Yeah, it looks like he's going to start off as a tier 2 character. Energy damage. Reflect 10% of damage. Blinds the enemy. Increase max HP recovery by 10%. So there's 25% chance to do that. And he can revive with 100% of max health when he dies. Alright, so those are all the new characters as well as uniform. Let's go on in here and show you some of the stuff. New mission, we'll go over that. New characters, we went over the characters, the inhuman characters. New uniform, we went over the uniform. Doctor Strange, if you want to get it for, what is that, HD? Or digital HD. I thought it was going to say DVD. I was like, they still have DVD these days? Alright, so they have a new kind of inhuman quest here. This is the new Avengers, and we have the inhuman. And you can select the stage and, you know, kind of beat it. And get the character's fragments from there. Or shards, rather. And then you have this. This is the quest pack. This is something that's very strange to me. Because if you look at this quest pack, you get a chance of getting these characters. 50 biometrics. Right? 50. But I'm assuming you can only select one. And this one, on the other hand, will only give you 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in total are on those Dormammu fragments or biometrics I'm gonna select this Dormammu for now you can only start one quest pack and quest packs can be changed at any time use 50 hidden tickets I don't even know where to get the f hidden tickets alright so uh, let's do this one because it seems like I'm not going to be able to get the hidden tickets anyways because I don't even know where I'm supposed to get the hidden tickets for the second one. I'm assuming they want me to finish the War of Kings and then go to this section to play the Dormammu section. Alright, there's the hidden tickets. The first one. Special mission. Can we do this? Alright, once we start it. Right. Clear a special mission within 50 seconds. So is this a special mission? Yeah, this is a special mission within 50 seconds. Can I do this? I think I could do this. Let's do it. I don't know. I was going to pick level 60, and then I was like, forget it. I think we could do this. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's start off at a level 1-1. Level one, one. Because unlimited. Let's do this. So does this count as the 50 seconds? That's what I wanted to know. But you know, some some of the dialogues that are going on here, I'm not too crazy about it. Alright, time to skip it. I'm sorry. <laughs> because it's taking way too long. 
I'm afraid my timer right run out. 50 seconds, right? Dude, don't hit the table. Alright, I'm just gonna run this myself because they're hitting things that I doesn't need to be hit. Alright, we need to complete this within 50 seconds. I think that was 50 seconds. Alright, there we go. 50 seconds, we get to clear, or claim the clear prize. Alright, let's get out of here. 50 seconds is over. Very close. All right, let's go into the special mission. If I can figure out how to get there. There's the quest pack. Let's claim this. Clear a special mission. Wait, wait a minute. Within 30 seconds. Oh, boy. Okay, we have to do this within 30 seconds now. Now, I'll have to run this myself. Because he's going to run around. All right, 30 seconds. Time is of the essence. Let's get out of here. Come on. Follow me. All right, let's get out of here. 30 seconds. My 30 seconds is on. I think that was 30 seconds, right? Oh. That stinks. That was not 30 seconds? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I gotta redo that. That wasn't 30 seconds. You talk too much. That <laughs> was it. But 30 seconds. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we have to redo that because it wasn't 30 seconds. All right, let's skip this thing and we're going to go forward. You know, we pretty much ran for it. I can't believe we didn't get it within 30 seconds. How's that even possible? Alright, let's run for it. Okay, that wasn't 30 seconds either. Are you serious? Okay, wow, this is 31 seconds. Almost there. All right, let's do that again. Maybe a dialogue kind of slowed us down a bit. Let's go back in here. Okay, we gotta get 30 seconds. I was very, very close. That was 31 seconds. Alright, 
God, let's get out of here. 30 seconds. So, you know, our helper is 31 seconds. All right, come on, 30 seconds. That was 30 seconds, right? Yes! All right, so that was 30 seconds. If you want to get that 30 seconds, do that stage. All right, let's get out of here. And let's claim our prize. Clear. All right, so there's a lot of stuff that we need to do, but let me go over here. There's a lot of gifts so you can get for free. Not these things. These are from the other event. But the golden gift box, yes. All right, you're getting this for free, so be sure not to miss it as well. There we go. We got some tickets and a lot of things here. I'm just going to claim it. I don't want to take too long. And we got some biometric selectors. These are from Shadowland. And bonus gift. All right, let's use this. And, you know, actually, let's go back out of here. All right, so let's spend the next five minutes looking at the new characters and their attack. I mean, I want to start off with looking at Dormammu. I think, you know, he's going to be a really cool character. Just a quick look. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Holy... You know when he's hovering, he doesn't, he won't get attacked. You know what I mean? Okay, that's cool. Oh my god! Look at this. All right, that's really cool. Let's go back out of here. Let's look at. I like Dormammu, but I want to look at what do you call it? Inferno, because he is a special character. Alright, that's a combo. Alright, so you get three seconds actually. Look at this. Once you do this, immune to all damage for three seconds. It's actually three seconds, not two seconds. Let's go look at the other character now. Gargun. Alright. He looks like the Hulk, or feels like him. All right, let's switch the other character. Let's look at Moon Girl. Oh, 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 wow. Now that is really something. We got a huge T-Rex. All right, so we have a huge T-Rex, and I'm not sure if it, that T-Rex actually dies, you know. Let's look at the other character. We looked at Inferno already. Let's look at Crystal. All right, let's switch to... Maximus. So he does summon characters. And when he summon characters, his bonus increases the damage of the summon characters. Let's look at Karnak. All right, let's look at the final attack. All right, so I like how he's able to stun the enemy. Now, let's go back to Elsa. We have Elsa, but I want to know what the changes are. All right, not our Elsa. I want to see our uniform one. The new, new uniform. Hey, there's some difference there. Oh, 
Oh, heck. I like that. You know, maybe I'll get that outfit. And let's look at Black Bolt, because I'm working on Black Bolt, too. So he doesn't do the spin with this outfit. Okay, Ms. Marvel, I don't use this character. Unfortunately, if you have any recommendation, you can always let us know in the comments section below. But I don't use this character. And I'm not working on this character either. Alright, let's go back out of here. So, you know, those are all the new characters as well as the uniform. I want Dormammu, but we're going to have to finish the quest for him. And, of course, there's only 8 minutes left. I should, I should really be doing this. You know, maybe we'll do a few runs on this. Uh, but, anyways, that is about it for the video. For the next eight minutes, I'm going to just run these stages, pick up some biometrics and stuff like that. I'm going to try to get some other stuff uh, as well, but we'll be back in the next video. Marvel Future Fight, if you haven't subscribed to the other channel where I do post the Marvel Future Fight stuff, please do be sure to do that. But that is the new update, and this is the new Inhuman update in the game. We'll be back in the next video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.